So the question of today is, is do you prefer wet notes or do you actually prefer wrist slates? Well, personally, I use both, but let me show you one of the problems I've come across whenever I use a wet note system or a slate system, say in between two individual dives. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Kicker Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are gonna be notified every time we upload new content. Now I got a neat little instructor tip for you. I'm gonna show you what I actually do with my wet notes and my slates to make my life a whole lot easier. Now, if you're not familiar with what wet notes are, there's several different types. These are actually a set of wet notes that I use to teach recreational scuba. Uh, if I open them up here, I've showed these actually in another video, but you'll see it's got all the recreational classes here from SSI and it's just my quick cheat sheet if you will of what skills I much teach however if you look closely you'll notice there's literally writing all over it and if I flip to the back you'll notice there's writing as well and what I use that for they come with a little graphite pencil here and this is how I can actually communicate with my students underwater so if there's something that hand signals are not protruding to the student I can simply write a little note they can write it back and forth and we can actually communicate with them um, and same thing with a standard set of wet notes, say for decompression diving, technical diving, things like that. These are my personal ones here. If I open them up, you'll notice there's several different tables in here that I can use. You can see where I've done some saccharate calculations underneath the water as well. Uh, and on the back is my quick little go-to for my decompression stops. But here lies the problem with these wet notes. Once I write on it, I can't continue to fill in the blanks until I clean it again. A prime example would be if I've got a dive planned out with say two or three stops here, before I make my second dive of the day, I'm gonna have to clean the slate to put the new information for the second dive. And dive slates are kind of the same way. Now there is a solution with dive slates a lot of times. If I'm wearing this say on my wrist, I write on the first slate, I can open it up and I've got multiple slates that I can kind of fill out. Just kind of like the wet, wet notes, I can open them up as well. But yet again, if I've got several different plans on here, maybe I've got my stops on one and I've got some emergency stops or whatnot, some backup stops, I'm still gonna have to clean that off for the next dive. So let me show you what we actually do here. So here you'll notice, this was a decompression dive we made the other day. And you'll notice I got all the same information that I would have say on a standard set of wet notes on here. But what you'll notice is this is not actually written onto the slate itself. It is written onto a piece of tape. Now the tape that I actually prefer is a 3M tape. This is the 3M 3903. So if you can see the numbers in there, and I'll show you a couple of different things that we do with this. But prime example here is, let's say I'm already know what several dives I'm gonna make or whatnot. I can have this pre rode out on here to where all I've gotta do is just rip off a piece, lay it on top, and then my slate's going to stay clean. In between dives, all I've gotta do is just rip off this piece, take the next one, rip it off and put it on. So this is a neat little trick that you can do so that you're not having to constantly clean your slates. Now, obviously you can still use this if you need to write something on here, it's very easy. Um, obviously with the tape, you're gonna use a Sharpie to do it, but you can still use your pencil or your graphite pencil if you need to write on the slate material itself. But it's a neat way so that you're not constantly having to clean your slates in between dives. You just rip off the piece of tape, put you a new piece of tape on, and you're good. Well, let me show you what else we actually use this for. If we come right over here, you'll notice I've got three bottles. Now, this is a side mount bottle. It's belong to one of our instructors. And yes, he does run nitrox in here. And if you remember from your nitrox program, you have to label the cylinder. So we have this nitrox tape that we use and it's pretty simple. You know, you just simply fill in the blank. It's gonna tell you who filled it, when it was filled, what the mix is, your maximum operating depth, all that good information. Well, what happens if you run out of this information or you run out of the tape? Not a problem. Here around the shop, we use a lot of masking tape or painter's tape. Super easy, you can write all the same information, you simply stick it on. Now the issue with these two types of tape is as they get wet, they start to deteriorate or if they stay out in the sun, the adhesive will kind of go through the tape material itself and it makes it very difficult to get it off. So one of the things that we do for our deco bottles is we go back to that same 3M tape that we looked at. Once again, that's the 3M 3903. And you'll notice here on my personal deco bottle, I've got that same tape. 
Now I know a lot of people will prefer to use the stickers, just like I've got the Deco stickers here. They will use the number stickers for their Deco mix and their maximum operating depth. One of the problems we found with that is, well, when you put it on, it's kind of there and you're going to have to tear that off if you get a different blend or a different mix for your deco. So by having this tape on there, it's very easy. I can just rip it off, write me out a new mix if I need to, and then I can stick it on very easy to where I can see it. I can add one to the bottom of the tank and it takes a lot of the confusion away versus what say one of these nitrox stickers is. There's a lot of information in a tiny little spot on these to where just having this 3M tape makes it very easy to read. I can tell whose bottle it is, what the blend is, and of course the maximum operating depth, which is all the information that I actually need to say during a stop. So it's a neat little trick. Yes, we still use the nitrox stickers. We still use the uh, masking tape just for basic recreational dyes, but for decompression purposes, this tape really truly comes in handy. And as I stated before, you can actually use it for your slates, you can use it for your wet notes. And at the end of the day, when you're done, you simply tear it off, fill out a new dye plan, throw this away, stick the new one on, and there you go. You're off diving and you don't have to continually clean your slates. Now, if you are interested in how to clean your slates, I'm gonna link a video up here and down in the description below where we show you what cleaners we use actually to go in and clean your slates. So make sure you check out that video. We think it'll be very helpful for you as well. But guys, that's gonna do it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. I hope it's a neat little trick that's gonna help you in the future. If you got any questions, comments, or concerns, drop me a comment down below and I'd like to see a good discussion here. But guys, that's going to do it for today. Take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.